By now, I'm sure all of us have heard of the game Animal Crossing. It's a cute game where you build your island, design your home, go fishing, catch butterflies, and hang out with your villagers. There's lots to do, and you can choose to play this game however you like. But there is a lot more to this game than you might think. And it all starts with the turnips. Every Sunday, Daisy May will come and she will sell you turnips and they will either go from any price, I've seen it the lowest at 73 bells and the highest at 110 bells. And essentially what you ideally would like to do is sell them for a much higher price, kind of like a stock market kind of thing. People are finding other people on the internet and trading with them so that you can sell your turnips for a higher price because usually in your own town it's very rare to find a really high turnip price they'll try and scam you and sell it for like 37 bells per turnip and that's not going to get you anything so you want to try and sell it for something a lot higher these are people who have daisy may at their town and usually will post her selling them at a lower price and then here are where people have shops that are selling for very high prices. These people are going to be asking for a high trading fee to go to the town. Like this guy wants 99k per visit and you can only hold up to a certain amount of turnips a time. So usually you're gonna to have to make more than one visit. The Animal Crossing Discord is the home of all trading, but the thing is, there is no trading mechanic in Animal Crossing. This means all trades are done without the consent of Nintendo's game design. Players risk being scammed every trade they make. If you have an item and you essentially drop it, you don't place it, but you drop the item, anyone who picks that item up now and puts it in their inventory and then drops it again, you can now go to your catalog and it will be there for you to order. Anything you touch that is not craftable, you can order. For example, this bonsai shelf, you have to craft it, so you cannot touch it and then order it yourself. But anything else that's not craftable, you usually touch it and now you can get it for yourself. And so cataloging, you would usually post a picture of all the items you have that people can touch or whatnot, and then you can make like deals, like, oh, you can touch five of my items for 200k um, of bells, or you can touch 10 of my items for seven Nook Mile tickets. Some people will do entire kitchen sets. People like that idea because you essentially go to their island, touch everything, and then go home and you pretty much have the identical kitchen, surfboards, lava lamps, pretty much anything. So if you're the one cataloging your stuff, it costs you virtually nothing because you're not giving them the item and they pretty much pay you to touch this stuff, then they go home and they buy it themselves. Some people won't understand what cataloging is, and they think that you're selling them like 10 items for like four Nook Mile tickets, and it's like, are you dumb? This is a lot more valuable than t four Nook Mile tickets. And then they'll start to leave, and I'll like type in the Discord and on the um, game, I'm like, wait, where are you going? Like, come back. And I'm like, oh, like, what's wrong? It's like, oh, like, this is a touch trade. And um, they're like, oh, like, what's that? Like, what do you mean? What's cataloging? And then there are some people who are like, oh, I'm so sorry. And they'll drop everything and leave because they understand. Um, there are some people who are like, oh, you're ripping me off. I want my money back. And it's just like, okay, you already touched everything, so, you've, so you can order it all. Um, I'll give you half your stuff back because you're an idiot. And then some people will just stop, clearly can read my message, and have left with 10 of my items. And it's just like okay, that white harp was worth 130k, and you just, you really think that four Nook Mile tickets is good enough for that, plus the other nine items you left with? So, I get very anxious when I sell, and now I make it very clear before they ever come to my island that this is a touch trade, you are not leaving with my items, when you go home you can order this yourself. So I get very anxious when I do it, but it's also fun because it's like an adrenaline rush. Another thing that you can trade that will be for high value are villagers. Um, it's kind of like villager trafficking or animal trafficking. Some of them will go for extremely high prices and then some of them will just go for free. The uglies, no one wants them. Um, so people will usually give them away for free. And then there's really wanted villagers that people will pay hundreds of tickets for, that like billions of bells for. People will pay crazy things for some of these villagers. The highest want villager by far is definitely Raymond. I have seen as low as 300 Nook Mile tickets and as high as 2,000 Nook Mile tickets. And 
including people trying to pay real money for him. Unless you're someone who trades online or you really grind out the game, you're lucky if you have 40 Nook Mile tickets. Um, even if you sell a lot and catalog a lot, 2,000 is absolutely insane. Like the most I've ever had in my inventory is 90 and that's because I catalog sometimes. Um, but I have no idea how many hours people put in or what they're selling to have that many Nook Mile tickets. And I don't even know if these people are actually even buying for that. But I've never seen anyone get Raymond for under 800 Nook Mile tickets or plus millions of bells and other villagers. It's absolutely insane. Like this person wants 4 million bells, 2 villagers, and 200 Nook Mile tickets. I don't even know who's gonna have that. It's absolutely insane how this cat essentially runs the stock market essentially. It almost seems like everyone is doing this cataloging and the selling and the buying just to get Raymond, just to sell him. Which is kind of weird, it's kind of like Raymond is the whole currency of this black market animal discord. If we go on eBay, um, I saw Raymond go for $600 in real money once. Um, and that was a bid. Right here we see Raymond for 50, Raymond for $35, $52, $124, which is insane. People are paying real money for a fake character in a video game. I've never really seen anything like that before. People were taking this ugly deer, they were changing his model ID to look like Raymond, and then selling Raymond, and people would be paying for him would be inviting him to their village, and then when Raymond would show up the next day, this deer would be there. And so I'm pretty sure in the last update, I'm pretty sure is now fixed, you can buy amiibo villager cards of any villager previous to this game, so from New Leaf and, and in the past. And with these amiibo cards, you can invite them to your campsite. And so once you invite them to your campsite, and after you bring them back three times, they will ask to come to your village. And if you have a full village, you can now kick people out and put them in boxes. And once someone is in boxes, that is when you can technically sell them on the Discord or on Nookazon. Some people even use Reddit. And then you can be like, hey, we can let's do 10 Nook Mile tickets, a thousand bells, whatever you want. That person will come to your island, talk to that villager, and invite them to their own island. The issue um, where it can become cheating is some people can make bootleg amiibos. This is something people can do with NFC tags and just an Android. And you can put them onto this little card thing and you can bring them to your town. And the issue with that is that when you kick someone out with a bootleg amiibo card, sometimes the game will glitch out. And even though it, you think that you are inviting someone to your town, if you're the buyer, the game will glitch out and they won't come. You can classify that also as cheating because you're not technically using a real amiibo and that's where the game will glitch out. And people have been caught from this and their Nintendo accounts have been locked and banned. Which is not good. So right now I have Whitney in boxes. Um, she asked to move out yesterday, so now she's in boxes today. So I'm about to make a post on the villager and trade search. And I'm going to see how much people will pay for her. So originally I posted for a different price and um, I was either getting people who were extremely lowballing me, which is extremely annoying, or um, just honestly getting nothing. So I lowered it, got nothing, lowered it a little bit more, and someone was interested and they're like, hey, what's your current offer for Whitney? And I lied to her. <laughs> I'm so terrible. <laughs> I lied to her. Um, the real offer I actually had um, this person just must be new, but it was like five Nook Mile tickets and then like a million bells. It's like absolutely not. So I lied and said 20 Nook Mile tickets. And I said, honestly, if you have any, um, if you can offer anything higher, she's yours. She's like, okay, here's 25. I'm like, great. This is going to be done with because I don't like this. I, I've cataloging is a little bit different because you're just like picking up and touching items and there's not as much to lose. These are like villagers and people lowball a lot more than they probably should people are a lot more pushy which i didn't expect so someone's going to get whitney she's gonna have a nice home obviously i have to get her tickets before she talks to whitney because people will try and talk to whitney will talk to your villager before paying for it and then that's how you lose out on money yeah if she just books and starts opening up random doors i'll just kick her like so whitney ideally lives in a very far off part of my town 
this before. This is exciting. It'll be fun. And it's kind of nice knowing someone's taking your villager rather than, than them, what is it called? Or oh, you send them off to the void. If, like, no one comes and picks them up. Oh, they're dancing over here. Look at them. Oh, this is Buck and Rosie. And they're dancing. And Buck's in a samurai suit. And Rosie's in a cheerleading uniform. Look how cute they are. Oh, this is adorable. I love this. So wholesome. Rather than villager trafficking. <laughs> Two sides to Animal Crossing. <laughs> Very ready to turn off my Switch in case they try and scam me. Okay, let's see their name. Let's judge their name. Total Star Lawrence from Starfall. Unique. <laughs> Imagine they saw this video. Oh, I hope not. That'd be awkward. Oh yeah, I lied to you about the price. This loading screen sucks. I'm sweating. I'm clammy. Give me your stuff! Yo, we said 25, sucker. Yeah. Now follow me. I want to be there when it happens. I want to watch my child get sold off. And look how cute she is in her jacket. Ugh. Oh, they're meant to be. They match. Oh, you two match. I always fear, like, what if she, like, doesn't want to, like, leave? Oh, she's thinking. Wait. Oh, this is an emotional roller coaster. I don't know what's going on. What if Winnie's like, no, I don't want to go with you? Can they do that? Anxiety. What is she doing? She got a lot of emotions going on. Please tell me all went well. Yay! And it's done. <laughs> all the trading I've done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are all people that have come to my island. 